Daniel Ricciardo's return to Red Bull hasn't been the triumphant climb back up the Formula One pyramid he had hoped for. His appearances at press events were supposed to be amusing, but his alternative race commentary was ruined by comedian Will Arnett. Despite Sergio Perez's terrible qualifying form, Daniel is still no closer to driving a competitive RRB19. However, by the time you watch this video, Daniel will have had his first chance to be behind the wheel of this year's fastest car at a Pirelli tyre test at Silverstone. The Red Bull camper hinted that his performance there could decide whether he gets a return to racing or not. The answers to where he will be racing and who he will be replacing were revealed at Silverstone. Stay tuned as we update you on the future of the lovable Aussie. Daniel Ricciardo is currently one of the most sought-after drivers not on the grid by fans. I say this because I've seen the comments on our videos about Mick Schumacher, and many people are excited to see him get another chance as well. However, Daniel has a lot more to offer than Mick, or at least a lot more that we know of. The Australian driver rose to fame for his daring, late-breaking moves and charismatic personality in front of the camera. Formula One hasn't found a replacement for his bold and brash on-camera personality since he lost his driver's seat, and that is a significant loss for the sport in my opinion. Daniel's return to Red Bull may have just begun. There have been numerous rumors about him replacing Perez or being used as a threat to ensure that Checo follows orders when required. Red Bull has always denied these rumors, not that anyone expected them to say anything else. However, Perez's recent string of terrible qualifying sessions has raised questions about his suitability for a Red Bull seat. Last weekend, he failed to reach Q3 for the fifth Grand Prix qualifying in a row, landing him 15th on the grid for the British GP before battling back to 6th. Currently, Perez sits 99 points behind his teammate Max Verstappen in the standings, while Aston Martin driver Fernando Alonso trails Perez by 19 points in third. When asked about Perez's form, Honda stated that at the moment, he is running second in the championship and has extended his lead over Fernando at Silverstone. The team is focused on ensuring that both cars are in contention. Checo may be benefiting from the fierce competition behind Max Verstappen. Earlier in the season, Fernando Alonso was the only non-Red Bull driver consistently picking up significant points. If that trend had continued, Perez's season would look far worse. However, Alonso, the Ferraris, the Mercedes, and now McLaren are all closely matched with Perez, and no single driver has managed to put together a run of good results. The battle for second place in the Drivers' Championship is intense. As a result, Red Bull comfortably leads the Constructors' Championship, even if Max were the only driver at the team. Daniel will have the opportunity to test the Red Bull car at the Pirelli tyre test this week. While many believe it is a chance for him to prove he's ready to take over from Perez, Warner disagrees. He sees it as a great opportunity to see Daniel back in a Red Bull car and evaluate his performance, both in terms of pace and mentally and physically. Additionally, getting Daniel's feedback on the car is valuable. Overall, it's a good opportunity for him to get back behind the wheel of a car that just won the British Grand Prix. Promoting Daniel Ricciardo to the race team is not in our plans, that's for certain. However, it was the right decision to give him the opportunity to remain within the team and keep him involved in the sport. It would have been a loss for Formula One if he had simply disappeared. Personally, I didn't recognize the Daniel we've seen in the last couple of years, so I'm very interested to see how he performs. For now, it seems that the Red Bull's second seat is out of reach for Ricardo. However, that doesn't mean that the energy drink company isn't interested in him driving for them. Alpha Tori is currently at the bottom of the Formula One standings after their worst start to the season, and their new driver, Nick De Vries, is one of only two competitors who have failed to score any points this season. When asked about Sergio Perez's strong performances in races but weaker showings in qualifying, Marco told Sky Germany that this is what sets Perez apart from Nick de Vries. At the moment, there is no need to take action. No one could replace Perez. The conversation then shifted to de Vries, with a tyre test upcoming where Ricardo will also get a chance to drive the Red Bull. According to Marco, the tyre test will take place on Tuesday, and after that, they will see.
When pressed about De Vries' future with the team, he added that they will assess the results of the tyre test before making any decisions. De Vries' poor performances have surprised many people, and although several teams have discussed a potential seat for him in 2023, he ultimately signed with Alpha Tori. Rumours are already circulating that De Vries' time with Alpha Tori may be coming to an end, with Liam Lawson and Daniel Ricciardo being considered as mid-season replacements. When asked about the possibility of dropping De Vries midway through the season, Marco laughed and mentioned Zandvoort. The Dutch Grand Prix at Zandvoort, which is De Vries' home race, is scheduled after the summer break, implying that he may not be with the team by then. If De Vries is indeed on his way out, it would be a tough decision from Helmut Marco. However, De Vries hasn't shown the promise this season that he displayed during his reserve drives last year. Former F1 driver Ralph Schumacher believes the decision has already been made, stating that it's a shame De Vries probably won't be at Zandvoort, but it's also good for Daniel Ricciardo and the team. Alpha Tori could benefit from Ricciardo's experience. Ricciardo recently admitted that it would be a fairy tale for him to end his Formula One career by returning to race for Red Bull. While that seems unlikely for now, a move to Alpha Tori could give him the best chance of making that dream come true in the future. Ricardo remains open minded about potentially racing with Alpha Tori next year. He doesn't see himself committing to a three year deal that would limit his options to only one team. However, if there is a possibility of returning to Red Bull, that's where he wants to be. Ricardo acknowledges that he doesn't want to spend too much time on the F1 sidelines as he's not getting any younger. He looks at Fernando Alonso and sees that if someone is still that good in their 40s, maybe he would want to do it too. But ultimately, he wants to race. So, could Daniel be back in a car by the end of August if Nick de Vries doesn't improve? It certainly seems possible. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and until next time, drive safe and farewell. We are eager to engage in discussions with you. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for future updates, ensuring you stay informed about the exciting 2023 Formula 1 season.